Practice test. There are four parts to the test. You will hear each part twice. Now look at the instructions for part one. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at question one. One. What did the man eat for lunch? Henry, would you like something to eat? No, thanks, Laura. I just had lunch at Freddy's place. Oh, is that the new restaurant on Angier Street? Yes, that's the one. So, how was it? It wasn't too bad. Did you have the chicken? I heard that was good. No, I didn't. At first, I thought I would have the steak and potatoes, but then I remembered I have to stop eating so much. So, in the end, I had tomato soup with some bread and butter on the side. Did you get a drink? Yes, I just had some water. Do you want to go there with me tomorrow? Yes, I do. I'll see you there at one p.m. I want to try the new pizza. Great. So I'll see you then. Now listen again. Henry, would you like something to eat? No, thanks, Laura. I just had lunch at Freddy's place. Oh, is that the new restaurant on Angier Street? Yes, that's the one. So how was it? It wasn't too bad. Did you have the chicken? I heard that was good. No, I didn't. At first, I thought I would have the steak and potatoes, but then I remembered I have to stop eating so much. So in the end, I had tomato soup with some bread and butter on the side. Did you get a drink? Yes, I just had some water. Do you want to go there with me tomorrow? Yes, I do. I'll see you there at one p.m. I want to try the new pizza. Great. So I'll see you then. Two. Where did the girl go on her holidays? Oh, hello, Tim. It's great to see you again. Hi, Amy. Did you just get back? Yes, I did. I had a wonderful time. How was the weather? Well, when we first arrived at the ski station, it was warm, but as we went up, it got much colder. But we were prepared. We knew we weren't going to a beach resort. Did you have a lot of things with you? Yes, I'd already bought a large coat at the shopping centre, and some shoes for the snow. You know. So it was difficult to carry everything to the top. What did you think of the region? It was just lovely. It was my first time skiing. I was afraid at first, but I was fine after the first time going down. Did you have any help? Yes, I had a coach, Pierre. He was great. He showed me how to use the skis, so I felt okay after a few tries. Good for you. Now listen again. Oh, hello, Tim. It's great to see you again. Hi, Amy. Did you just get back? Yes, I did. I had a wonderful time. How was the weather? Well, when we first arrived at the ski station, it was warm, but as we went up, it got much colder. But we were prepared. We knew we weren't going to a beach resort. Did you have a lot of things with you? Yes, I'd already bought a large coat at the shopping centre, and some shoes for the snow. You know. So it was difficult to carry everything to the top. What did you think of the region? It was just lovely. It was my first time skiing. I was afraid at first, but I was fine after the first time going down. Did you have any help? Yes, I had a coach, Pierre. He was great. He showed me how to use the skis, so I felt okay after a few tries. Good for you. Three. Why did the woman cancel her trip? Hello, Roger. It's Mimi. Oh, Mimi, how are you? Oh, I'm fine, but a little stressed actually. I'm really sorry, but I won't be able to make it. You're not coming to the party in Rome? Oh, that's a pity. What happened? It's awful, really. I was all ready to go, and I even arrived early at the airport. But there's been a terrible storm here in London, and they've cancelled all the flights for the next few hours. That's unusual. It must be terrible weather over there. It is, really. At first, I thought they had cancelled the flights because of the problems in the airport. You know, they don't have enough workers, and there are delays in security. But that wasn't the reason. No, not at all. Look, I'll try to get on a flight tomorrow, but I can't guarantee I'll be in Italy. Don't worry. Of course, we hope you can come, but call me tomorrow and let me know. I will. Thanks, Roger. Now listen again. Hello, Roger. It's Mimi. Oh, Mimi, how are you? Oh, I'm fine, but a little stressed actually. I'm really sorry, but I won't be able to make it. You're not coming to the party in Rome? Oh, that's a pity. What happened? It's awful, really. 
I was all ready to go, and I even arrived early at the airport. But there's been a terrible storm here in London, and they've cancelled all the flights for the next few hours. That's unusual. It must be terrible weather over there. It is, really. At first, I thought they had cancelled the flights because of the problems in the airport. You know, they don't have enough workers, and there are delays in security. But that wasn't the reason. No, not at all. Look, I'll try to get on a flight tomorrow, but I can't guarantee I'll be in Italy. Don't worry. Of course, we hope you can come, but call me tomorrow and let me know. I will. Thanks, Roger. 4. How did the children get to school? Hi, Tim. How's the weather in New York? It's really cold here. I just turned on the heat. There's a snowstorm here in Boston. We couldn't get out yesterday because the snow was blocking our gate. Wow, that sounds serious. How's it today? It stopped snowing, and I cleared the snow outside the house. So, we were able to get outside finally. What about the kids? Could you drive them to school? I wanted to drive, but I didn't feel safe on the road. There's still a lot of ice. Johnny got his bike and wanted to cycle to school. You didn't let him, did you? Well, no, I didn't. In the end, we all got big coats and hats on, and we just walked to school. Actually, it was fun trying to get through the snow. Well, hopefully that's the end of the bad weather for this year. I don't think so, but maybe you're right. Now listen again. Hi, Tim. How's the weather in New York? It's really cold here. I just turned on the heat. There's a snowstorm here in Boston. We couldn't get out yesterday because the snow was blocking our gate. Wow, that sounds serious. How's it today? It stopped snowing, and I cleared the snow outside the house. So, we were able to get outside finally. What about the kids? Could you drive them to school? I wanted to drive, but I didn't feel safe on the road. There's still a lot of ice. Johnny got his bike and wanted to cycle to school. You didn't let him, did you? Well, no, I didn't. In the end, we all got big coats and hats on, and we just walked to school. Actually, it was fun trying to get through the snow. Well, hopefully that's the end of the bad weather for this year. I don't think so, but maybe you're right. 5. How much is lunch at the canteen with the restaurant tickets? Hello, everyone. This is Patsy Winters, Head of Restaurant Services for the University. I have some good news. We've just opened a new canteen on the main campus. All teachers and students are allowed to use the canteen from Monday to Saturday, from 7am to half past 7 in the evening. If you're an active member of the college, you can apply for restaurant tickets online, but the deadline is this Friday. For the early birds, you can have a continental or full breakfast at the canteen from 7 o'clock, but the kitchen closes at 9. If you have restaurant tickets, you get a 50% discount. Otherwise, you must pay £8. For lunch, we now have healthy options like soup or salad, as well as fresh sandwiches and hot meals. Lunch is £10 or, if you have the restaurant tickets, £5 for both students and teachers. Now listen again. Hello everyone. This is Patsy Winters, Head of Restaurant Services for the University. I have some good news. We've just opened a new canteen on the main campus. All teachers and students are allowed to use the canteen from Monday to Saturday, from 7am to half past 7 in the evening. If you're an active member of the college, you can apply for restaurant tickets online, but the deadline is this Friday. For the early birds, you can have a continental or full breakfast at the canteen from 7 o'clock, but the kitchen closes at 9. If you have restaurant tickets, you get a 50% discount. Otherwise, you must pay £8. For lunch, we now have healthy options like soup or salad, as well as fresh sandwiches and hot meals. Lunch is £10 or, if you have the restaurant tickets, £5 for both students and teachers. 6. Which event are the students going to this afternoon? Hi, Mr Matthews. This is Mrs Taylor, the history teacher on the line. I know this is a long message, but it's important. The students won't be in your math class tomorrow because they're going to a special event. There's a historical exhibition at the museum about our country and culture 100 years ago. 
and I think it's important that they attend this event. I've already paid for the students and will be leaving by bus at nine tomorrow morning. I know you've been planning an exam for them, so I'm sorry about that, but this is a special occasion, and they should be there. After all, it's a celebration of 100 years of the independence of our country, and the President will be there. Thank you for your understanding. Now listen again. Hi, Mr Matthews. This is Mrs Taylor, the history teacher on the line. I know this is a long message, but it's important. The students won't be in your math class tomorrow because they're going to a special event. There's a historical exhibition at the museum about our country and culture 100 years ago, and I think it's important that they attend this event. I've already paid for the students and will be leaving by bus at nine tomorrow morning. I know you've been planning an exam for them, so I'm sorry about that, but this is a special occasion, and they should be there. After all, it's a celebration of 100 years of the independence of our country, and the President will be there. Thank you for your understanding. 7. When is the movie starting? Karen, are you coming to the film tonight with me, Jack and Ellie? Which movie, Dave? It's called Adventure Into Darkness. It's supposed to be excellent. Really? I didn't hear anything about it. What time are you meeting the others? The film doesn't start until eight, but we're meeting for dinner at around half past six. I'm working until exactly six, and I have to take the train, so I don't know if I'll be there on time for dinner. It's OK if you're late. If you arrive around seven, it still gives us plenty of time to chat and you can still get something to eat. That sounds great. What time does the movie end? I'm not sure, really. Maybe ten. The trains will still be running, so don't worry about that. OK, see you around seven. Now listen again. Karen, are you coming to the film tonight with me, Jack and Ellie? Which movie, Dave? It's called Adventure Into Darkness. It's supposed to be excellent. Really? I didn't hear anything about it. What time are you meeting the others? The film doesn't start until eight but we're meeting for dinner at around half past six. I'm working until exactly six, and I have to take the train, so I don't know if I'll be there on time for dinner. It's OK if you're late. If you arrive around seven, it still gives us plenty of time to chat and you can still get something to eat. That sounds great. What time does the movie end? I'm not sure, really. Maybe ten. The trains will still be running, so don't worry about that. OK, see you around seven. That is the end of part one. Now look at part two. For each question, choose the correct answer. Eight. You will hear two friends talking about university. Mike, I heard you got a place at Oxford University. That's amazing. Thanks, Richard. Actually, I'm not sure how I feel about it. Why's that? You should be so happy. I would be. Well, it's just that my parents will really put pressure on me to do well now. Hmm. Right. I understand, but don't worry. You will do well. I hope so. In some ways, I'm happy. But in another way, I'm quite nervous about the whole thing. Well, don't be nervous and enjoy the opportunity. Congratulations! Now listen again. Mike. I heard you got a place at Oxford University. That's amazing. Thanks, Richard. Actually, I'm not sure how I feel about it. Why's that? You should be so happy. I would be. Well, it's just that my parents will really put pressure on me to do well now. Hmm. Right. I understand, but don't worry. You will do well. I hope so. In some ways, I'm happy. But in another way, I'm quite nervous about the whole thing. Well, don't be nervous and enjoy the opportunity. Congratulations! 9. You will hear two friends talking about a graduation party. Are you going to the graduation party, Annabelle? I don't know yet. I don't have anything to wear. That's the problem. Do you want to come shopping with me? We can take a look at the Lucy's Boutique. It's a new place on Green Street. Sure. Are you going there right now? No, I can't. I'm still at work, but we can meet after four. What about if I meet you outside your apartment at half six? I'm in class until six. That's fine. See you then. Now listen again. 
Are you going to the graduation party, Annabelle? I don't know yet. I don't have anything to wear. That's the problem. Do you want to come shopping with me? We can take a look at the Lucy's Boutique. It's a new place on Green Street. Sure. Are you going there right now? No, I can't. I'm still at work, but we can meet after four. What about if I meet you outside your apartment at half six? I'm in class until six. That's fine. See you then. Ten. You will hear two friends talking. Oh, and you look upset. What's going on? I know it's silly, but it's my birthday, and my parents and family forgot to call me. Oh, happy birthday. And no, that's not silly at all. Of course they should have called, but I suppose they forgot. Maybe. Well, your friends didn't forget. You're invited to the basketball final with me and Rick tonight. What do you think? Wow, guys, that's great. Were you planning this for a long time? We bought the tickets a month ago. At first we wanted to throw you a birthday party or invite you to a special dinner, but then we thought this would make you happier. You bet. Thanks. I feel much better now. I've got some great friends. Now listen again. Owen, oh, you look upset. What's going on? I know it's silly, but it's my birthday, and my parents and family forgot to call me. Oh, happy birthday. And no, that's not silly at all. Of course they should have called, but I suppose they forgot. Maybe. Well, your friends didn't forget. You're invited to the basketball final with me and Rick tonight. What do you think? Wow, guys, that's great. Were you planning this for a long time? We bought the tickets a month ago. At first we wanted to throw you a birthday party or invite you to a special dinner, but then we thought this would make you happier. You bet. Thanks. I feel much better now. I've got some great friends. 11. You will hear a customer speaking with a customer service agent. Hello. I'd like to return this computer. Is there something wrong? It doesn't work. It turns on, but then the screen goes black. The keyboard and mouse are working fine. Did you break the monitor? No, I didn't break it. It was already broken when I got it. All right, let me have your receipt. Hmm. It's too late for a refund. Really? Well, can you offer me an exchange? Yes, you can exchange it for another product in the shop. All right, I'll take this laptop instead. Now listen again. Hello. I'd like to return this computer. Is there something wrong? It doesn't work. It turns on, but then the screen goes black. The keyboard and mouse are working fine. Did you break the monitor? No, I didn't break it. It was already broken when I got it. All right, let me have your receipt. Hmm, it's too late for a refund. Really? Well, can you offer me an exchange? Yes, you can exchange it for another product in the shop. All right, I'll take this laptop instead. 12. You will hear two friends talking about a new flatmate. How are you getting on with your new flatmate? Not great. At first she seemed really nice and we had some good conversations. Then I noticed she stopped making any effort in the flat. What do you mean? She's really untidy. She leaves her bags, clothes and computers all over the living room. She never buys any food, and she eats all my food. Oh no. Have you spoken to her about it? No, I'm too embarrassed. You should really speak to her soon before it gets worse. Now listen again. How are you getting on with your new flatmate? Not great. At first she seemed really nice, and we had some good conversations. Then I noticed she stopped making any effort in the flat. What do you mean? She's really untidy. She leaves her bags, clothes and computers all over the living room. She never buys any food, and she eats all my food. Oh no. Have you spoken to her about it? No, I'm too embarrassed. You should really speak to her soon before it gets worse. 13. You will hear two friends talking about an upcoming birthday. It's your dad's birthday tomorrow, right? Yes, and I haven't got him anything. I'm in trouble. Well, it's not too late. You could get him tickets for a concert. He isn't really into music. So, what does your father like doing? He doesn't really like parties or going out, but he loves football. There's a football match tomorrow evening at the stadium. I heard there are still tickets left. Why don't you buy tickets and go with him? That's a great idea. Why didn't I think about that? He'll love it. 
The match starts at 7 p.m. He's working until 6 p.m. That's perfect. Tell him you have a surprise for his birthday. Believe me, he'll be happy to go to a football match after work. Now listen again. It's your dad's birthday tomorrow, right? Yes, and I haven't got him anything. I'm in trouble. Well, it's not too late. You could get him tickets for a concert. He isn't really into music. So, what does your father like doing? He doesn't really like parties or going out, but he loves football. There's a football match tomorrow evening at the stadium. I heard there are still tickets left. Why don't you buy tickets and go with him? That's a great idea. Why didn't I think about that? He'll love it. The match starts at 7 p.m. He's working until 6 p.m. That's perfect. Tell him you have a surprise for his birthday. Believe me, he'll be happy to go to a football match after work. That is the end of part two. Now look at part three. For each question, write the correct answer in the gap. Write one or two words, or a number, or a date, or a time. Look at questions 14 to 19 now. You have 20 seconds. You will hear a YouTuber talking about a country she visited. Hello everyone, and you're so welcome to my channel about traveling the world. Today I'd like to speak about my trip to Mexico. In September, I arrived in Cancun for a little rest and relaxation. It was just wonderful. I spent the first day walking on the beach, drinking cocktails and looking for fish in the little rock pools. On the second day, I joined the travel group on a bus tour to Yucatan. In this region of Mexico, we saw the Mayan pyramids, which are extremely old. The Maya people understood astronomy and the movement of the solar system. Their pyramids were built in a way to allow the planets, moon and stars to be visible to people inside these buildings. So that was amazing. The next day, we returned to Cancun. I went to the market, bought some fruit and vegetables, and after that, I had lunch with my friend Diego at a Mexican restaurant. He recommended tacos, which are corn shells filled with meat and a hot sauce. They were very spicy. I had to drink a lot of water. We went shopping and I went into an old dark store. To my surprise, I saw the most beautiful lamp, so I bought it. Unfortunately, I only stayed for four days in Mexico which is a pity because it wasn't enough time to see much. I recommend two weeks to really see the country. Now listen again. Hello everyone, and you're so welcome to my channel about traveling the world. Today I'd like to speak about my trip to Mexico. In September, I arrived in Cancun for a little rest and relaxation. It was just wonderful. I spent the first day walking on the beach drinking cocktails and looking for fish in the little rock pools. On the second day, I joined the travel group on a bus tour to Yucatan. In this region of Mexico, we saw the Mayan pyramids, which are extremely old. The Maya people understood astronomy and the movement of the solar system. Their pyramids were built in a way to allow the planets, moon and stars to be visible to people inside these buildings. So that was amazing. The next day we returned to Cancun. I went to the market, bought some fruit and vegetables, and after that I had lunch with my friend Diego at a Mexican restaurant. He recommended tacos, which are corn shells filled with meat and a hot sauce. They were very spicy. I had to drink a lot of water. We went shopping and I went into an old dark store. To my surprise I saw the most beautiful lamp, so I bought it. Unfortunately I only stayed for four days in Mexico which is a pity because it wasn't enough time to see much. I recommend two weeks to really see the country. That is the end of part three. Now look at part four. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions 20 to 25 now. You have 45 seconds.
you will hear an interview with a woman called Adriana Locker who did a special study at a university. Hello there, dear listeners. Today we're joined by Dr. Emily Stevens, a prominent figure in the world of behavioral science. Dr. Stevens, thank you for joining us today. Please, we'd like to know about your recent study conducted at a university in Cambridge. Could you explain to us what it was about? Absolutely. And thank you for having me. Well, I've been looking into the therapeutic effects of pets on human emotions, especially among young adults. I've always loved animals, so this study was really fun for me. What made the university decide to sponsor this unique study? The managers at the university were worried that many of their students, in fact, more than 20%, were leaving school after the first year. The main reason the students were leaving was because they felt lonely, didn't make new friends, and missed home. This was concerning for the school because if students didn't return in the second year, they could lose a lot of business, especially as this was a private school. That's why they agreed to pay for our study and experiment. Could you explain the details of your experiment? Certainly. We introduced pets to all the first-year students at the start of the school year, and they had to take care of the animals from September until June. In this pet support experiment, we aimed to see if having a little dog or cat would help students stay in college. If they returned for the second year, they were allowed to keep their pets. We divided the experiment into three parts. An interview at the beginning of the study to understand the well-being of the students. A second interview halfway through and a final interview at the end. That sounds intriguing. What were the results of the study? The results were surprising. When we interviewed students at the end of the school year, 98% of them had decided to continue their studies at the same school. They mentioned that having the responsibility of a dog or cat gave them a reason to come back. Overall, they felt more relaxed and happier and enjoyed school more during the year. We now realize that pet support is successful. It helps people feel less lonely, more at ease in new situations, and having a pet gives them a sense of responsibility. Now listen again. Hello there, dear listeners. Today we're joined by Dr. Emily Stevens, a prominent figure in the world of behavioral science. Dr. Stevens, thank you for joining us today. Please, we'd like to know about your recent study conducted at a university in Cambridge. Could you explain to us what it was about? Absolutely. And thank you for having me. Well, I've been looking into the therapeutic effects of pets on human emotions, especially among young adults. I've always loved animals, so this study was really fun for me. What made the university decide to sponsor this unique study? The managers at the university were worried that many of their students, in fact, more than 20%, were leaving school after the first year. The main reason the students were leaving was because they felt lonely, didn't make new friends, and missed home. This was concerning for the school because if students didn't return in the second year, they could lose a lot of business, especially as this was a private school. That's why they agreed to pay for our study and experiment. Could you explain the details of your experiment? Certainly. We introduced pets to all the first-year students at the start of the school year, and they had to take care of the animals from September until June. In this pet support experiment, we aimed to see if having a little dog or cat would help students stay in college. If they returned for the second year, they were allowed to keep their pets. We divided the experiment into three parts. An interview at the beginning of the study to understand the well-being of the students. A second interview halfway through and a final interview at the end. That sounds intriguing. What were the results of the study? The results were surprising. When we interviewed students at the end of the school year, 98% of them had decided to continue their studies at the same school. They mentioned that having the responsibility of a dog or cat gave them a reason to come back. Overall, they felt more relaxed and happier and enjoyed school more during the year. We now realize that pet support is successful. It helps people feel less lonely, more at ease in new situations, and having a pet gives them a sense of responsibility. That is the end of part four.